Hi everyone, I'm Kasper Falkenberg. I am a guitar player from Denmark and uh, I'm a songwriter and a producer. And actually we are in my studio right now um, testing this little unit called the Soulmate Acoustic. Right now I'm touring actually with this unit and uh, I'm pretty happy about it and I want to show you guys what I like about it because uh, it has a lot of different features that might be interesting for guys who play acoustic guitar. So um, first of all, um, we have uh, s some different outputs. Um, we have like XLR, balanced output, and we have normal jack outputs, both uh, stereo, which is very nice because the unit has uh, stereo effects. And um, we also have a possibility for expression pedal, both as a volume pedal, which I use, and uh, you can also use uh, the expression for the shimmer effect, which is in the reverb unit, reverb part of the unit. So, and I can completely remove. Then it's just a normal um, reverb, and then I can add as much shimmer as I like. This is the maximum. All right, that was a little much. <laughs> All right, but uh, I use uh, the expression for volume, so I can do the swells as I did in the beginning. All right, um, it has a very nice compressor, which I use a lot. It's always on when I play, actually. But uh, without it, we have this sound, and with on it. So it just, um, it just helps a little bit with the level, but you don't feel that it's uh, too much or that it's annoying or that it's destroying your dynamic in the guitar playing, which is the most important thing about a compressor. So I'm really happy with this. I just use it like for slight compression, but you can like take it to the max and then it's like chicken picking. <laughs> then you would have to gain compensate a little. But that's weird. <laughs> so I don't use it like that. I use it much more like this. And I feel it's, uh, if you, for example, if you play some finger play. Then it's nice that the compressor actually helps the level a little bit. It also has what they call mod, but it's basically a, a chorus. It's really nice, nice sounding. I use it for like a couple of songs where it should sound a little more 80s-like, but it also becomes a little more uh, broad, stereo-wise. <laughs> a little more left-right, of course. That's really nice if you want to make it like a little bigger than it actually is. So I add the compressor, compressor and the chorus now. I think it sounds really nice. If you like exaggerate it, it becomes very 80s which might be nice for some stuff. I think this is pretty cool, actually. So it's always flipped. That's pretty nice. And if you're hearing this with the headphones, you really get the impression of how, what it actually does in the stereo image. So that's very nice. And um, we have a delay, of course. So it's, it's a delay. You can, of course, exaggerate it a little bit, and then you can play some rhythmic parts with this. That was pretty exaggerated. So, and it 
has a tap function, so you can tap whatever tempo you want. So right now I've set it to kind of like dotted eight mode, but it's just, you can do whatever you want. So um, it's, it's pretty nice because the delay doesn't have too much low end, it doesn't have to have too much high end, so it's a bit, it's a bit tapish, but not, not tape. Just, just, just like a, a delay that doesn't get in the way. Because when you play acoustic guitar, you have a lot of low end and a lot of treble, right? So you would like the delay not to be in the way. So I think this, this is pretty nice. And uh, as you can hear, the, it, it has a little bit of a ping pong effect in it as well. That's really nice. Then you have the reverb. I use it for, for two things. I use it as I did in the beginning for swells. So... Like that. And then I use it as a normal delay. Then I turn off the shimmer and I just use it for... Not delay, of reverb of course. Then it's just like, you make it a bit shorter. And it was would be just like a normal reverb, just to yeah, add a little environment to your playing. Again, like the delay doesn't get in the way, there's not too much low end and stuff like that, so it's just a pretty nice smooth reverb. And again, if you do like finger picking stuff, it sounds pretty nice as well. Yeah, and uh, we have a boost function and you can actually control the level of your boost function in the front um, and uh, I've, I use it for solos basically so if I do like a small loop of some kind I could do something with this And um, yeah, it's basically kind of a boost to yeah whatever need you have playing solo, doing some quiet parts that you want to get a little more in in front. And it's a really nice sounding booster, I think. So uh, and then of course you have the looper, and it's a very very simple looper. I love the fact that it's so simple. It's just record and play and overdub as much as you, as you want, and then you have a stop and clear function. It's really nice that you have these two different buttons to do this. So, um, so I think all in all, uh, you have a unit where you actually have the stuff you need for acoustic guitar, in my opinion. But of course, you can always add stuff. If you look at my studio, you, you would kind of know that <laughs> I do that. But on this specific tour that I'm on right now, I only use this unit. Uh, I think it sounds great. Um, the sound engineer is very happy with what I deliver. And uh, it's just um, a nice, great sounding unit in stereo. And it's not a normal thing to have acoustic guitar in stereo. So, so the fact that you have that opportunity is very, very nice. So a very important part of this unit is, of course, that it has a very nice sound sounding preamp. And uh, you just go directly into the PA and it just sounds so good. So uh, the fact that you have stereo out, you have two stereo outs actually, and, uh, and you have that preamp, and in addition to that you have the EQ, which is quite nice because you can, 
yeah, you can remove the kind of free, the frequencies that might bother you. So, um, so it's um, it's a pretty nice little unit. It also has a feedback filter. We don't use it now, but um, that feed feedback filter is just uh, switchable on and off. So um, it's kind. Of, I mean. The things that you kind of need when you go out with an acoustic guitar and you're going to plug the directly into a PA you have in this unit. So that's what I really like about it. And I just added the expression pedal and that's basically my setup for the current tour I'm playing right now. So uh, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. 